Hi everyone, this is Kathleen. And two of my viewers wrote to me and asked that I provide some additional videos on disability law. And here's one. Last week, the United States Equal Employment Opportunity Commission announced that it had filed a lawsuit against an organization called KB Staffing, located in Central Florida. KB Staffing is a staffing agency. And according to the EEOC, which is the federal agency that is charged with administering and enforcing several anti-discrimination laws in the United States, including the Americans with Disabilities Act, has charged that KB required all job applicants who came into their offices to fill out lengthy pre-employment health questionnaires that went into considerable detail regarding the applicant's medical condition. And this, per the EEOC, is illegal. All applicants, per the EEOC, were required to fill out this health questionnaire from 2011 to 2013. They have since, apparently, discontinued requiring all applicants. And th this was done at the pre-offer stage. So this is before any job offer was on the table or was pending. So this case has now been filed in federal court in the Central District of Florida. We'll continue to monitor it and we'll continue to advise you of any developments. But what is the ADA, the Americans with Disabilities Act, which is the law that KB is alleged to have violated here? It was signed into law in 1990 and went into effect a year later. And it provides protection to Americans with disabilities against discrimination in employment and elsewhere. But the employment statute is what's at issue here. Essentially, it requires covered employers to evaluate an individual who happens to have a disability, not on the basis of that disability, but on the basis as to whether or not the candidate has the requisite skills, knowledge, and abilities to do the job with or without reasonable accommodation. So the ADA protects Americans with disabilities, but it goes beyond that. It also protects against any perceived disability. So in other words, let's just say an applicant walks in and is applying for a position with a company, an accounting position. The hiring authority looks at that applicant and thinks, this person looks like he might have HIV or she might have HIV. And I have a bias against people with HIV. So even though this applicant is qualified for the position, I can't see beyond that. I'm not going to hire him or her. That would be illegal, even if it turns out that the person does not have HIV. So if you are regarded, if the applicant is regarded as having a disability and suffers some, some form of, dis of discrimination, the applicant or the employee would be protected under the ADA, as would someone who has a close relationship to a person with a disability, if that individual could show that he or she suffered bias in the workplace. Let's say, for example, a woman who has a child who's blind applies for a promotional opportunity. Let's say she's a sales associate and she wants to be a sales manager. The director of sales looks at this candidate and says, hmm, Otherwise qualified for the job, but I have a concern as to whether or not she'll be able to travel, to work late, to go over and above the job, and to do this required of a sales management position because she is the mother of a child who's blind. That is a situation where a close relationship to an individual with a disability might kick in and bode not well for that employer. So that is the Americans with Disabilities Act. If you'd like to learn more about that statute, please go to www.eeoc.gov. This is Kathleen. Thank you very much for watching and for listening today.